Hello everyone, welcome to News Extra. And this morning we're talking about the upcoming WNCC grand opening and ribbon cutting following the renovation that's been taking place at the Scotts Bluff campus. And I have Jennifer Reisig, Executive Director of the WNCC Foundation, as well as Allison right. Judy. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you, Scott. Um, for having us. This is a really big thing. We're actually light at the end of the tunnel on this project. Yes. Um, first of all, let's just talk about the, the event that's coming up here on Thursday with the uh, grand, open, grand opening and the ribbon cutting. What can people expect? Well, when um, they come, we're going to have a greeting out in the yard in the front. There's brand new landscaping. It looks beautiful in the front. So then there will be some light refreshments. And then we'll have a program at 4.30, and that will culminate in the ribbon cutting at 5 o'clock. Okay. Now, this has been, a, obviously, a multi-year process to get to this point. Uh, explain a little bit uh, some of the some of the pros and cons, I guess the positives and negatives that, that have been coming across as the project has progressed. So, um, you know, first, I think anyone in, in um, you know, our, our president, John Harms, our, um, anyone will say that um, kudos to our faculty and staff who have been over in the main building during this 21 mm -hmm. month long renovation, um, you know, the banging, the loud noises, the temperature changes, they've endured it all and they've, um, so we really have to thank them for their patience and the students as well. I mean, this whole last academic year, you know, uh, dealing with those same challenges as well while they're trying to learn. So um, they, you know, they, we recognize that that was a challenge and um, just so grateful for their patience and um, through that process. But um, and Hopefully. then, of course, the staff that were displaced out of that oh, building. Over at the SWBC the building. Right, building. Right, right, right. So the move back. and Yeah, yeah so, so, you know, hopefully, though, what it's going to culminate with is this great new space for um, students to really um, take advantage of the way that they tend to learn now um, mm -hmm. in, you know, more group, flexible, comfortable environments. It's not always sitting in a classroom. They, they're able to, they're going to be able to study in new spaces and more collaborative. Um, yes. Sure, Study certainly. And, and, and of course, we've uh, heard of and, and have had access to the um, um, Performing Arts Center, uh, the new Performing Arts Center with the Judy Chalupka Theater right, yes. and uh, the Kelly Bean Box Office, trying to remember all the, yes, <laughs> the yes. names going into, the, going into that portion of the project. But there's also some other things that are, are kind of new and improved, basically, uh, that, that are specifically tied to the students. Yes, as far as the theater, mm -hmm. you mean? Yes. Well, and, and beyond that, as oh. far as uh, with, uh, the, as Allison was saying, with some of these yeah. meeting spaces that, that tend to be, uh, you know, a, a little more, as you said, I guess, collaborative friendly. Mm -hmm. um, with the uh, construction, of course, the foundation, a big part of this with the fundraising efforts that have been going on. Um, I would assume, though, that even though we're getting to the to the end of this project, that doesn't mean the foundation obviously rests on their laurels at this point. No, we're always busy working and looking at the next project. And of course, student scholarships, that's a huge part of what we do mm -hmm. at the foundation. So, um, but there, it was a huge community effort. The campaign committee got behind this, mm -hmm. alumni committee, foundation board and staff, and it really was a group effort to get this done. And um, we're proud to have helped fund this project. Yeah, We'll have more about the uh, ribbon cutting and the grand opening for the new WNCC renovated campus on uh, in Scotts Bluff when we come back on News Extra. And we're back on News Extra and we're talking about the WNCC renovation uh, ribbon cutting and grand opening that's coming up on Thursday from 4 until 6 30 p.m. with a lot of activities going on. I have Jennifer Reisig with the WNCC Foundation, the Executive Director with me, as well as Alice and Judy. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Uh, we were talking a little bit about some of the student uh, areas. Um, we've got some specific ones that have undergone some renovation. Uh, explain a little bit what the students can expect to see when they come back to classes. So we have um, three great areas that we focused on. Um, we have our Howard Olson Student Success um, Center, mm -hmm. which obviously named after a long time foundation board president, Howard Olson, very well known in the community. Um, just to talk about the most amazing guy that, mm -hmm. you know, so we're honored to have him in that space. That space is really gonna be great for students to help streamline services. 
um, all of their financial aid, admissions, um, career pathways, advising. It's all in one area so they don't have to go to different spots on campus to get the services they need in addition to um, TRIO programs. Um, all of those services will be right you know, close mm -hmm. for students. Um, we have the Learning Commons, as I mentioned earlier. So sure. um, in uh, layman's terms, a library, but um, Learning Commons is kind of the term used these days. And um, in addition to that, a new bookstore and cafe, Buddy, uh, Buddy's Books in Bistro. <laughs> um, so we're excited about that. Um, just to give co um, students more of that college feel where they can you know, come in, grab a coffee, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a pastry, and, and go study. Um, the views are, that's what I'm I most say, excited you about. At, you look at it from the outside, looking in, and you see that large glass yeah. area at the second yes. level uh, from the very front. It's like, wow, that's And really that's impressive. where the learning commons is. It's right inside the windows on the top floor, and a real collaborative space. There's meeting rooms, study rooms, um, a fireplace. We're yeah. really envisioning that people will come and hang out, and faculty will hang out there, connect with students, staff. You know, I'm hoping to grab a cup of coffee every morning up there, you know, and it sounds like it's really going to be a nice space for, yeah. for learning and for collaboration. Yeah, kind of a, kind of a um, community feel, if you will, right, mm -hmm. right inside the college itself. Right. Yes. Um, of course, um, we have the uh, event itself uh, starting up at uh, 4 o'clock yes. uh, with the uh, actual uh, ribbon cutting ceremony taking place between 4.30 and 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. and, and as you yeah. said, uh, we'll have uh, tours that are available too. So if yeah. people are interested in, in taking a look inside, they'll be able to do that. Yes, after the ribbon cutting. Um, so 4.30 is when that program starts. And when that's done, there'll be tours throughout the space until about 6.30. And of course, the timing is just perfect because as, as we had uh, talked a little bit earlier um, before we came on the air, We've got the uh, Old West Balloon Fest night glow that's going to be right, right Hosted there. Hosted at WNCC yeah. that same day. Yeah, so mm -hmm. people can uh, come out and get a look at the uh, new and improved mm -hmm. Scotts Bluff campus, the main building mm -hmm. um, at WNCC, and then just kind of shuffle off after they're done with that and hang out for the uh, night glow afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that uh, was really the vision. Um, then President um, Dr. Holcomb, he, when we were approached by the Balloon Fest Committee, um, you know, we thought it was a great opportunity to really welcome our students back um, with this night glow and also to see the new spaces, um, really show the community this is what we've been working on, we're excited about this, we want you to be a part of it. And um, so yeah, it'll, it'll be a, a busy bustling day, but I it's, it's going to be, be a great day for the college and, and we're really looking forward to it. Yeah, and of course there may be a, a, an item here or there, the punch list items that may still have to be taken yeah. care of, but yeah. we're not talking anything major at this point. No, no, it's, it's kind of putting the finishing touches on mm -hmm. and um, yeah. every day there's just the progress that's made is, is just, you think, how does that happen in a day? <laughs> but it does. And it, we saw it happen with the theater before yep. it opened opened in June sure. and so. Yeah. Sure, and, and as far as the faculty and staff getting the, the ones who were displaced out of SWBC, mm -hmm. everybody will be back into the they, building or will it be a process going forward? They won't move in until a little later, so okay. they'll move in once the students are have started class, then okay. they'll begin moving in. So it'll be a process a little bit down the road and a yes. little here, a little there, and of course uh, it worked out very, very well with SWBC having that space yes. available oh, right wonderful. across the street. Yes. Uh, that was very convenient. They've been a great partner. Absolutely <laughs> so that's, have. that's the ribbon cutting and the uh, grand opening for the renovated Scottsbluff campus at WNCC starting at 4 o'clock on the 15th going until about 6.30. Uh, ribbon cutting itself taking place at 4.30 with the tours available from about 5 until 6.30 is what, uh, what the public will be able to take, take a look at the yeah. new digs for the students. Yeah, that's right. yes. Jennifer, Allison, thank you very much for joining us on these extras. Thanks for having Thanks. us.